Over a week after aerators were introduced into the New River, the Department of Environment reports the measure is proving successful. Four of these were installed along the stretch of the river that passes through Orange Walk Town, where the pollution was heaviest. Conclusion is basically yes, that um, the aerators have provided very good results. Um, you have seen that the DO level has increased um, after the application of the aerators. Um, total dissolved solids, um, the impacts are only influenced within a distance of 50 foot um, above and below the aerators. And then the H2S levels um, have been substantially lower um, than previous information that was recorded. Consequently, the recommendation was made to the um, task force for us to continue imp the implementation of this technique uh, within the impacted area um, as, a, as a remedy, not as a solution um, to the current um, degraded water quality of the river. The aerators are operational only during the day. Suggestions to run them for a 24-hour cycle were rejected for fear of it increasing the emissions of hydrogen sulfide into the atmosphere. Although most of the visible pollution washed downstream, additional water quality testing was conducted in the area of Guinea Grass Village and the results were similar. The department is now shifting its attention further downstream from Orange Walk Town. On Thursday, Ek met with the chairman of Caledonia Village in the Corozal District and the school management there to share information on the problem, what to expect and not to panic. They will also be visiting Libertad Village to do the same. And as the rains continue, sediments continue to flow downstream. It is only a matter of time that the Corozal Bay is affected. It's a huge concern for the department. Um, However, there is nothing much uh, we could do to stop it um, from flowing into the Corozal Bay. Um, we are not sure to what extent the damages will be. Hence, we are also doing water quality analysis. Um, we are working along, along with ACD uh, to conduct baseline water quality analysis um, from um, Corozal Bay going way down to um, headwaters. Um, that, was, that will give us an indication as to how uh, water quality stands and then we will be monitoring once um, all of these reach the bay, we will continue to do monitoring, monitoring to evaluate and then um, I think we will have to uh, find a strategy on how to deal with the problem. Because right now we don't have an idea as to what is going to be the extent of, again, uh, once it reaches the ocean, uh, dilution start, starts to take place, um, and we'll see what uh, the measures will tell us. The department has installed aerators in the area of Caledonia Village and continues to evaluate other options. One of these is the use of effective microorganisms. We don't want to introduce any additional substance, any additional stress to the uh, already uh, degraded uh, water system that we have right now. Hence the reason we are not, we have put that uh, process uh, and looking at it very slowly. We will do further um, assessments. What we were thinking about is to uh, do a pilot, is conduct a pilot, uh, uh, locate an area that would be serve very good as a pilot for the introduction of EM and then see whether the results are uh, promising or not. Dalai Kal for News 5.